Yeah, you said it's been a whirlwind. Um, you frequently recall the exact number of days that it's been. Does yeah, it feel kind of surreal? It does feel kind of surreal. Uh, I think we're somewhere around uh, 340 days. Uh, I, I remain uh, humbled and honored to have uh, the experience of a lifetime mm -hmm. uh, to serve uh, my hometown. Mm -hmm. uh, and I am uh, excited about um, the upcoming year, uh, the start of a new decade. Mm -hmm. uh, this year has been uh, our exact internal why uh, mm -hmm. from the campaign to governing, which is uh, uniting our city, uh, mm -hmm. moving it from uh, being disconnected to connected, focusing on real change and true growth. Uh, and so uh, this year has been uh, a year of unity, a year of transition, a year of change and a year of growth. Uh, I've learned a lot. Um, there are a lot of, uh, no mayor can ever um, prepare to be mayor because he or she has never done it before. <laughs> and so there are a lot of, um, you know, expected and unexpected things that happen. Uh, we have opportunity to navigate waters uh, that are uncharted and sometimes unnavigable. And so um, I'm extremely uh, grateful for uh, our team here at City Hall, uh, and that team includes all 2,150 employees uh, of the City Hall. Uh, grateful for our, our city, boards of direct, city Board of Directors, um, and um, each of us are waking up every day uh, to go above and beyond uh, the call of duty for the citizens of Little Rock, and I'm just grateful for it. Mm -hmm. I'm just, just humbled. Being first time as elected official, I think one of the things uh, that surprised me, uh, particularly, um, uh, I'm used to death being a, an associate pastor. Uh, I'm oftentimes officiating funerals and um, visiting uh, the sick and shut in at hospitals and nursing homes. Uh, but um, I get a phone call every time there's a homicide uh, here in the city of Little Rock. Um, whether I'm in the pulpit at, at, at uh, Greater Second Baptist Church while I'm preaching, uh, while I'm at home laying in the bed at 10 o'clock at night or 2 o'clock in the morning, uh, or having lunch with friends. Uh, and uh, each time uh, that hits you, uh, it hits your emotion. And, and it uh, creates one, um, we want to be in prayer uh, for uh, the victims and all the families that are involved, whether it was the victim or those who committed the crime that resulted in the death, uh, you want to uh, be acutely aware of that impact it has uh, on the citizens of Little Rock, uh, but it also has an emotional toll. Uh, and so that's something that I did not think uh, um, that it would uh, have that type of impact, uh, but it drives me uh, to ensure uh, that public safety remains a top priority uh, for this administration for the city of Little Rock and I'm grateful for the leadership at the helm with uh, Chief Keith Humphrey which was my first uh, high profile hire uh, uh, very early on to a very uh, open and transparent and highly community engaged process to hire him uh, and his sole focus has been to uh, carry on our vision of uniting Little Rock through community policing uh, and 21st century community policing being those pillars. Uh, he's a very engaged and um, uh, active uh, uh, police chief that's really uh, building relationships and trust with the community and that's uh, becoming the culture of the Little Rock Police Department and it's something that's been sorely needed and he is uh, the right leader for the right time uh, for our city uh, and uh, excited about that. Good. Um, if you had to pick one single thing that happened this year that you feel was accomplished this year, what would it be? I couldn't pick one single <laughs> thing. Uh, and, and the reason why is because we've done so much uh, in this close to 340 days or so. Uh, we've uh, reorganized and restructured governance uh, at City Hall. Uh, we have uh, implemented our act plan of uh, being accountable, clear, and transparent. Uh, we've had a high focus on public safety. Uh, we've kept campaign promises from our uh, campaigning about a citizen's review board. That's a campaign promise that was kept, uh, as well as uh, identifying funding um, through 
uh, the U.S. Department of Justice as well as city dollars to fund, uh, fully fund um, our body-worn cameras, our uh, knobbing machine, which is a basically what I call a CSI system that will help us uh, fight crime and prevent crime. Um, we've recruited and announced uh, close to 1,100 new jobs in one year, uh, and we're keeping our fingers crossed that we may double that by the end of the year. Uh, so very high expectations uh, on what we're doing there. Uh, we've created, um, um, well, we've tore down silos within planning and uh, develop, uh, planning and development to uh, make certain that uh, uh, entrepreneurs, small businesses, uh, uh, business owners understand that Little Rock is open for business. Uh, we're changing the attitude at City Hall and the culture. Um, that that we have a how-to versus a, 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 a I don't know or a no uh, attitude, uh, so we can be very responsive and uh, engage with our with our customers, which are the citizens of Little Rock. It's our, uh, they pay our bills, um, and when you think about that, uh, the uh, we've had a number of different uh, community engaged task force that. Uh, where we were met with challenges, we now see opportunities for growth when we think about uh, War Memorial Park and Hyman Park and what we plan to do to uh, reimagine, to revitalize and reinvest into those parks and our entire park system as we focus on quality and life in place initiatives. And the reason why we're focusing on quality of life in place initiatives is because uh, as an elder millennial myself, I understand that we choose where we want to live first before we decide on our career and as we as we engage and understand that our, our brothers and sisters that are aging in place and uh, are age friendly uh, they too are, are choosing where they want to uh, reside and retire uh, based on the quality of life and so we see uh, those the nexus between uh, between generations that we're all focused on uh, how do we uh, identify the identity of the city of Little Rock and we've truly been focused on how Little Rock reestablishes its swagger as the state capital city, uh, that we're charting a, a culture of being bold, focused on change and overall economic growth for all. Um, and uh, so when you, you think about, about that, we've, we've done a lot. It's just been great. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it did seem like um, you did come right out of the gate with a lot of new um, and bold things was your um, what was it like kind of working with the city board that you know had been you know in those seats for years and maybe not used to a mayor that was bringing things to them in quite the same way well uh, change is uh, I think Machiavelli says that change is the most difficult task uh, when you're trying to initiate a new order uh, and so uh, with change, uh, it, it, it takes time, it takes some adaptation, uh, but we have a wonderful uh, city board of directors of committed city uh, servant leaders who are all committed to the citizens of Little Rock. Uh, and it, it took time uh, for them. They were uh, under a mayor uh, for 12 years prior to me. Many of them have been on the city board for uh, close to 30 years. Uh, and um, with anything, uh, I'm a different type of leader uh, than the former mayor, uh, and so you get used to one style of leadership in a, in a new, and now there's a new style of leadership. And so with that, it takes time to adapt. Uh, but again, I just want to share how grateful uh, and humbled I am to work alongside them uh, to help lead our city uh, towards the future together. They're, they're wonderful to work with. Well, one thing I do want to ask about um, is how you use Twitter. Um, mm -hmm. It seems like a you know a way that you interact with constituents that wasn't really done before. Do you have a strategy there? Tell it all. <laughs> I mean, um, I'm a millennial. I'm just a creature of, of my generation, I think, and um, I think. Uh, it, it, it's past time for the city of Little Rock to share its story, uh, and it's a tactic to ensure that uh, everyone in Little Rock, everyone in the state of Arkansas knows what Little Rock is doing, uh, that we tell our good news, because sometimes the media doesn't share good news. Uh, and when I say doesn't share good news, just because sometimes it's from the media standpoint, as you would attest, that 
Uh, sometimes uh, good things aren't selling ads. <laughs> it's just uh, from a TV standpoint or from a, a, a media standpoint. And so I want to make sure that any uh, every good deed is known uh, from the city of Little Rock to its people. Uh, and then two, it's also it's accountability measure. It's, uh, it's it goes with our act plan of being accountable, clear, and transparent. Uh, and I think the citizens of Little Rock ought to know what their mayor is doing, and ought to know what the city board is doing, what city hall is doing for them, uh, and and how we're serving them. And so, um, uh, yes, I, I I manage my own social media accounts uh, um, uh, from a Twitter standpoint and LinkedIn and Instagram and Facebook and even a smoke signal. We want to make sure you can reach and contact us. Thank you for sharing.